A Kenora store owner is left shaken after being attacked in her own shop by a stranger. And she's calling for immediate action to address the root causes of violence. CTV's Danton Unger joins us now with more on this. So Danton, is everyone okay after this attack? Well, Renee, the store owner tells me she's emotionally stressed and feels like she can't leave her staff alone anymore. She says this is part of a growing problem threatening the community. My Christmas. Things have to change. A frantic call for action in the aftermath of a violent attack. Michelle Livingston, the owner of Island Girl in Kenora, says a man came into her shop near closing time on December 23rd. When she asked him to leave, the situation escalated. Threw me to the ground and started, you know, punching my head towards the floor and pulling my hair. And Livingston says she was able to fend off the man using a metal clothing rack while an employee called 911. The Ontario Provincial Police arrested and charged a 29-year-old man with assault and mischief under $5,000. It's getting scary. Livingston says this attack is just one sign of a larger issue facing a community struggling with the impacts of a drug crisis. I mean, it's come to the point where I've um, had found people entering into my basement, squatting, finding needles. They were urinating down there and... You know, I had to set up video surveillance. It's a problem Livingston says is getting worse. And then it's really making me not feel safe in my own building, in my own business. The concerns prompted Kenora's mayor to call a special meeting of council Thursday to come up with ideas to deal with the violence. Yeah, this takes time. This is not going to happen overnight. Um, the issues didn't happen overnight and the solutions will not happen overnight. Council committed to three action items, hiring a community safety and well-being coordinator, redeveloping a community safety and well-being plan, and calling for increased police patrol in the downtown area. Yes, Constable Jason Canfield, a community start, safety uh, officer with the Ontario on Provincial on Police, station. says work is already underway to add an office in Kenora's downtown core. The majority of the crime definitely happens as a result of, of drugs or alcohol, um, as it does seem or seems to be everywhere in North America right now, right? Like every city you, you hear about is really struggling right now. So Livingston says whatever those solutions are, they need to happen now. Businesses will close, people will sell their buildings, or they will burn down, like who knows, but we're not going to have a town anymore. Since the attack, she's locked the store and now requires customers to ring a doorbell to get in. So, Danton, is Kenora looking for any help to deal with these issues? Well, today, councillors said these problems are systemic and beyond the purview of Kenora's council alone. They say council will be advocating for help from the provincial and federal partners. Now, in a prepared statement, Ontario's Ministry of Health tells us it is responding to the opioid crisis and has put over $93 million towards community addiction services, as well as more than $9 million for youth wellness hubs. All right, CTV's Danton Unger reporting live tonight. Thanks for this, Danton.